Hello and welcome back today. So somebody requested me to uh, take you through the day two assessment. So after you completed all the uh, learning modules, you'll be given an assessment at the end of the day two pre-live. So the assessment will test you basically on the knowledge that you gathered on your pre-live session that will enable you to proceed with your training as an independent travel manager. So today, I composed some of the assessment questions and the answers and I'll take you through them one by one through a video that summarizes everything below. So uh, I hope you're enjoying this so far and uh, listen to this carefully so that you can pass your assessment once you start taking it. Okay, thank you. So I'll just directly take you through the assessment so that you can live assessment explanation. So we will jump straight into the questions. The first question will be while filtering the bonus queue search, agent can select multiple departure and destination cities. That is true. Let me demonstrate it to you. All right, so in the search, under the search button, in the filters, here in the departure city, we can select multiple airports. So let's assume it's New York, Washington, Boston. Okay, three, and we can do many more. The same for destination. We can put um, Paris, London, or Madrid. When agents are taking a request from bonus queue, they can already see some existing options in the request. Why is this happening? Because this is not a new request, there was at least one agent who worked before with this customer, and this is the correct answer. It's not about the experts who added those options automatically or the system which added those options automatically. It's just because you're not the first agent who worked with this request since it's from the bonus queue. If you call the customer taking from BQ but the customer did not answer, what should you do? So you should leave a voicemail and send at least one option so call again three times in a row and send at least seven price quotes that's a bit too much hang up and close the request tab and move to the next one this is not enough actions to be done so the ideal would be to leave a voicemail and send at least one option what is the recommended action to be done by an agent before sending the request to an expert well, for sure, to reach the customer and get their preferences and flexibility so that based on the client's information, you can send the request to expert. Otherwise, you can use ProQuote. In case CMS is not allowing you to send emails in BQ lead, what, is the, what are the actions which you should do? So you should leave a voicemail or talk to a client for at least one, one minute and a half because this action is considered a valid action, right? A follow-up valid action to have rather a voicemail or a conversation for at least one minute and a half. This will increase BQ timer, first of all, and you will be able to send emails to the client. Can agents make two actions simultaneously? Call the client and search for options in ProQuote. Yes. Let me demonstrate it to you. So what you should do is just uh, click here on the phone icon, click on make a call, and while soft phone is ringing and you're waiting for the customer to answer, you will click on ProQuote. Next question. What actions should be done after taking the request from bonus queue but before calling the customer? So we should check previously offered option. We should get familiar with the flight details. We should check client's personal information. We don't have to discuss with our supervisors and 
there are some actions that has to be done. Those three. So we should check the previous uh, flight options to see uh, what the customer already knows. We should get familiar with the flight details because we are about to call the clients. So of course, we need to know their travel plans. And uh, we need to make sure that we do have a phone number and email available in the request, personal information. During the first conversation with the customer taking from BQ, what are the actions to be done? So we definitely need to make sure that we reach the right person. We should ask if the customer is still looking for a flight and we should offer at least one option. So the correct answer is all of the above. While searching for options with the customer on the line, what is important to be done? So we should ask question to keep the customer engaged. That's the only correct answer. We should continue asking client questions or telling them what we see in ProQuote, at least some details, so that they will not stay in silence, they will be engaged and will not be willing to hang up on us because of some weird silence. In case you called the customer from Bonus Queue and they, are, they answered that they are still looking for a flight, where should this request be inserted in the follow-up file? Um, meaning these two deals, right? So new leads or BQ leads. In case it is a Bonus Queue and they are still looking, the correct answer is both section. Because since it's a bonus queue, it is by it should be by default in the BQ lead section, and since it did answer, you duplicate it to the new lead section as well. How to correctly present the options to the customer? So here the correct answer would be by shortly presenting flight details, not going into all timings, but selecting the most important details such as departure date and time, arrival to the destination date and time, layover duration, airline. And of course, we should point out the benefits for each option, so we show the value. In case an option has been added by supervisor and you need to create a reservation for it, however, when trying to do it through CMS using the create PNR tool, you get an error. What should you do? So of course, since it was added by supervisor, just contact your supervisor. In case you want to be provided with additional options besides existing in ProQuote, you have to send the request to one special department. So here we have the actions button, right? Once you click on it, you do have this drop down. Send to CS, send to concierge, as X. So send to CS means customer support, no, send to concierge, no. So the correct answer is ask expert. In case your customer is ready to book a ticket and you already have the reservation, which box from CMS request will help you to send the payment form to the customer? So since the PNR or the reservation was already created, the button is create sale. In case the client is objecting the price while you understand that this is the cheapest available option for the exact flight requirements, what should you do? You should definitely show empathy that you understand the client's perspective. You should emphasize the value of the flight. You should ask for additional flexibility of dates or departure from nearby cities or airports. So all of the above. Why the departure day is marked in red in ProQuote? Let's take a look. So meaning this departure date, which is highlighted in the red color, and the correct answer, there is a cheaper price for alternative date. So if you will uh, click on this date, it will show you the calendar and you will see on which date nearby date, it will be cheaper. How many stops are in the outbound flight from New York to Lagos? 
So in this case, from Newark Airport in New York to Lagos, we have two stops because from our point A, which is EWR Airport to uh, Lagos, which is LOS, we have two airport codes. So first one IAD, which is Dallas Airport in Washington, and second one ADD, which is Addis Ababa. So from Newark to Washington, Washington Addis Ababa, Addis Ababa to Lagos. The correct answer is two stops. How many bags are included in this option? The luggage we can check on the left side here we do have the luggage icon and we can see here the digit 2 which means that there are two luggages included for this flight for the inbound flight from lagos to new york it's written that the total travel time is almost 15 hours at the same time the departure is 10 a.m on january 3rd and arrival 7 pm the same day it makes total travel time of just seven hours how if you do the math how is that possible this is possible because all of the timings are displayed based on the local time meaning that when the customer is flying from lagos nigeria in lagos it will be january 3rd 10 25 am by the time the customer will arrive will land to new york in us it will be 7 pm january 3rd so this difference is because of time difference it's because time difference we always see the timing of specific departure destination city either on the outbound or inbound or outbound there is a flight with just one stop so we already discussed that on our flight going there will be two stops washington and Addis Ababa. on the way coming back from lagos to new york the client will have just one stop in lfw which is lome togo so we just need to select the airport code so lfw and one more time it is displayed here what is the code for delta airlines we can actually find it here in the screenshot right uh, for the segment uh, of the flight which is on delta we can see the flight number that is dl5785 so the airline code is dl okay but as well we can google it you will see the uh, uh, iata designator is dl okay so you can google it as well and the correct answer is DL. How many airlines operate this flight? Here, operate is highlighted because operating carriers are the ones on which the customer will actually fly. In our case, this flight from Savannah to JFK will be operated by JetBlue next flight will be air india air india so there is no other airlines or operating carrier on the way coming back the same air india air india and the local flight from jfk to savannah is delta airlines so overall we have three airline companies JetBlue, air india and delta the correct answer is three what class of service is uh, this flight is so if we take a look again on the uh, screenshot it is mentioned on all segments that it is economy all the way going and on the way coming back so it's all in economy on which date the customer will arrive back to savannah so let's take a look on our schedule so from kochi to savannah right departure would be on july 30th but arrival to savannah will be on july 31st 9:37 p.m so it's july 31st that's it with all the questions for the assessment all right now let's discuss the day two pre-life practical mission so here you are already familiar with the instructions of what you have to do 
so start screen recording then you have to log in in this link so to the cms exactly as you log into your mind tickle access bonus queue take a request check the flight details open pro quote add two different options and just refresh the page to make sure the options are in the request so let me quickly demonstrate how it should have been done so once you click on the link, you have to log in exactly as on the mind tickle. Then we click on the bonus queue and we select any request from the list. First of all, what we have to do is to check the flight details. So we check, we see that there is a flight from Toronto to Manila in december departure return on the february we go back to the price quote and we open pro quote then we wait until the options will load and now we start uh, checking for the options to see what are the available we can see that there is a non-stop and we just select so this one is a good schedule pretty good price so we will just set the markup confirm and check for something else uh, since we saw that there is a non-stop uh, we should sort the option or arrange the options by the flight time so that it will show us what is the shortest option available and that will be the one which has non-stop on the way going one stop on the way coming back we can select this one and we set the markup as well and we confirm our choice so we already have two options let's just add one more uh, which will be the cheapest so we can click on the calendar we see that the cheapest price is 1331 uh, we will reset all filters and the option which we've got will be with a little bit long layover on the way coming back but since it's a good price we can select this one as well same procedure we set our markup and confirm so here we have three options we need to click on add selected and proceed without hotel next we should refresh our page and to make sure that the options are in the request so here we can see free new option so those are the ones which we just selected